Smiles. All right, we're trying something new and exciting. If this is exciting, that's really it's sad. Very exciting. It's a sad statement. These are exciting times. Exciting. Oh, look, you came right up on mine. Good. It's because we have a better thing here. No, we you came up on mine. Refresh this shit. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. There you are. No. We'll see. How you guys doing? We're getting set up. We're, we've got a new. Uh, I this hair sticking out right here. That I think his hair. Where? Look at this right there. It's like, think. I don't know. This Who knows? Right. So we've got this going, and we've got that going, and hope you guys are having a great night. Happy Saturday, great day weekend. Just to rock and roll, if this computer will work, because it's from fucking 1902. 1902. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes. Who's on? No, you and just me. You? All right. Well, that's okay. Just me. That's okay. Eventually, I think I'm going to have to probably... Gonna, are you supposed to like your own shit? I don't think so. Well, you can. I mean, it might make you egotistical yeah, or... Exactly. What's with a horse? That's what I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Interesting. In a little bit. I don't know yeah. what's going on. Anyway, well, good hope thing you guys are doing well. I got this one. Just chilling. I know it's I Saturday night. I don't have night. that many people because it's, it's a long weekend. So. Yeah, exactly. But we'll see. That's okay. <laughs> Sound ever. So it's new, it's improved. We've got a little room set up, a little area set up in our house to uh, do this inside in air conditioner. I think that's kind of. Wednesday was a little much. Like, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit humid here. And, and the bugs, um, mosquitoes are back. Yeah. There's like a chance of rain sucking. every day for the next week and a half. Yeah. Not huge chances of rain, but chances of rain nonetheless. So. Right. I mean, we definitely need it. Yeah, but I don't know what the hell my computer's doing. Again, it's from 1902. Feels it's like, like it. only like five years old. It's ten years old. Oh, minimum. You don't even when know. Did we get it? I don't know. Did we get in 07? No, we were in Colorado Springs when we got 2010. it. So I think it was after ten because we were in the house when we got it, right? Because this shit's so, frozen. I don't know. I think it might just be user error. Yeah, I mean, I think there's... Because mine's working. I don't know. I give up. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. What's up, dude? We've got high tech. We're inside. Is that high tech? We're in we've AC. Moved from, we've the moved from the garage band. to the <laughs> inside of our house now, which is good. So I think it, it's going to be cool. We've got, like I mentioned last time, we've got all, all of our stuff coming pretty soon. Be able to get like, yeah, some it's been good ordered cameras. and... <clears throat> good cameras. Christian good. is probably excited because he'll get to start doing all the fun stuff that he likes to do. Yeah, the so. editing stuff. So my nephew is going to help us out with some of the editing things and doing those sorts of things. So just a quick mic check, make sure that the mic's working on this. Can you hear us, Dan? Can you let us know? Yeah, just give us a quick nod. If you give me a thumbs up, brother. Thumbs up, a high five, whatever you want to do. It's all good, dude. We appreciate you joining. Leave it alone. It says I can join. I don't know. Anyway, tested no it last night. It worked you know, fine. Seriously, no bugs. No June bugs. Greg has to no seriously. longer be afraid of June bugs. That was ridiculous. It was getting Such to the point girl. of being nuts. So. Well, son. We oh, got, I didn't know that. Did you talk to my dad about that? Uh, yeah. Interesting. We'll, we'll do a recap on the home invasion down the street and his thoughts as being a law enforcement officer for his entire life um, and what he thought about that. So it's kind of cool. Um, but really what we want to do, what I want to kick off is obviously this weekend. He hears us fine. Huh? He hears us fine. Okay, good, good. That's I love awesome. that he says y'all like he's an actual Texan. Well, is he? Are you? Are I you? don't know where you're from, Dan. Where, where are you from? Where are you from originally? Are you a Texan? Is that why I love your lingo? Thank you. Love your really? lingo. Are you from Houston? Can't remember. I don't know. Who anyway, is. sorry, dude. I just remember him. <coughs> my biggest <coughs> memory of Dan is being just red as a lobster oh, yeah. at the <laughs> um, last... Dinner? No, at the last uh, uh, podcast we did with them when we won the trip and everything. Yeah. Um, and they gave away the coffee. He was so sunburned because I remember I was freezing to death and he was like, I'm 105 degrees. Let me put my arm on you. And I was like, sweetheart, you are 
Yeah. On oh, fire. He was like yeah. the color of that red. Yeah. I mean, he was on fire. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> they were heading with stripes. So, yes. really, it's obviously a big weekend. You know, um, I want to bring up a few things. And being it, that it's Memorial Day weekend. Maine, sadly. He's from your neck of the woods. Oh, hey, yeah, Shana. that's right. Now I remember. Hey, Shana. How are you, pretty girl? What's going on? So, welcome. Cheers. I'll drink Cheers. this time. <gasps> I won't forget. He's learning. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for joining us. So it's really funny. You want to hear a funny story? Sure. So these Bud Lights have been hot or cold, cold hot, hot cold, cold, hot, cold again, and cold again. And I swear to you, they're about five times more potent <laughs> and taste like ass. It's they're burning. Horrible. They're burning off the actual. They're not very good. Water in them. And yeah. I really think I'm a, I'm a Henry's. I'm, I'm determining. I'm like refining my choices. Yeah. And I'm strictly a Henry's girl and a gin and tonic girl. Although I started thinking the other day, I was like, I should try vodka again. You get, you have a koozie somewhere. Where'd it go? A coaster? I don't need a coaster. A coaster. I don't, I don't I have, you have a koozie. koozie. Never mind. Um, but we'll put that up there anyway. I, uh, cool. I, um, Turn them this way because they're kind of cool. I remember trying vodka in college and it made me mean AF. Like, I tried to start fighting with yeah, my roommate. I remember you trying to tell me that. I think that's just college angst kind of bullshit because I can't drink tequila. Maybe I was just tired of her shit. Could have been that too. <laughs> I love her to pieces, but could have been that too. Yeah, um, but so maybe I, I, I just because Steph gave me those mixers. I was looking at those. We need today. to do those. Yeah, we need to have um, them. And I was like, online. I need to uh, online try those. Uh, or what do you call it? A, a FaceTime happy hour or whatever the hell people, whatever the kids are doing. Summer. Yeah. Now the the Zoom happy. No, not Zoom. Oh, yes. Is it Zoom? It is Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Or what's Zoom the new now. Microsoft one that they're trying so hard? Rooms or something dumb. They're late to the party. They're late to the party. Yeah, basically. everybody's set up on Zoom and other stuff like that. So. Yeah. So, again, let me get back into a uh, big topic for the day. Oh, so, yes. um, really, it's Memorial Day weekend, and we want to just really focus on, you know, I don't, I don't want to over-focus, but you can't not, right? Right. Um, over-emphasize the fact that it is Memorial Day and why, why, we're, why we have this holiday weekend. And right. It really comes down to our service members uh, giving up the... They're making the ultimate sacrifice, right? In one form or another, right? Um, ultimately, a lot. so many people have passed away, even during conflict or post-conflict, after they got out at some point, and that can happen, right? Um, but we just want to make sure that take a minute and reflect is really what I'm getting at, and just understand, I'm hey, the weekend. why are we here? Why is America the greatest country in the world? And it's because of the people that are willing to put their lives on line and and do what they need to do. Like my so, nephew who just re-enlisted <clears throat> yep. for another two years. In so our nephew Jacob is a, um, so Chris is calling me, I don't know why, because we're going to, hey Chris, hang on. Hey dickhead, you're on FaceTime, we're on live right now too, so we're going to disconnect. Yep, we're gone. Bye. All right, got to go, got to go. <laughs> I we're feel on like live. they're... We're on live right now. Bye. I feel like they might be drinking out by they, the bonfire. Yeah, they have a fire going, and Christian's an idiot. He's the one we were talking about. That's going to be doing the editing. He's not really an idiot. He's, He's not. Just having fun. But, uh, but yeah, so he re-enlisted. Yep, another so for another two years in the Marine Corps. Right. So it's great. Um, he re-upped, and so that'll put him at six years. He's a corporal right, corporal right now in the Marine Corps. Um, and what? Oh, we've got dogs <laughs> looking to try and get him. She's we'll like, try and stay on fo on point here. Yeah, right? sorry. It's a different we, thing. We started drinking a little bit earlier today, um, which is funny because I had such a buzz going, and then you and my dad came back with burgers, and I was like, Can you still stay on point? I don't know. Yes. It's sorry. impossible. Anyway, Memorial Day. Just keep in mind why we're we're doing this. So I want to give a quick story. So my brother Chris, and this is why I have these photos right here. Is your brother's? So yeah, it's a picture, a couple pictures, a picture of my brother after he just graduated uh, Marine Corps boot camp in Paris Island, and uh, my, there's another picture with my mom, and she was the proudest Marine Corps mom yeah. you could ever imagine, right? And my brother Joe since went or went after shortly thereafter, a couple years maybe um, after, but my brother Chris passed away a couple like a week after he got out of basic training. He had come home. And he got into a car accident, but nonetheless, he had still signed to yeah. 
do he's, what he wanted to do. He got his career. And my father was a 22-year Marine Corps. He was a master gunnery sergeant um, in the Marines as well. So we've got a lot of family. Her dad was a Marine. My brother was in the Air Brothers Force. Brothers in the Air Force and Army, actually. So we've got a lot of, a lot of military. Army? Yeah, he was in the Army. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, he was in the Army. He also. must have gotten in when I was still nine. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, so yeah, between that, you know, I know it's really focused on that, but just keep that in mind. And have a great holiday weekend, if we want to call it a holiday, but a Memorial Day weekend. But also just take a moment and think about it, is really what I want to get at, okay? Not so with that, thing. we'll go ahead and, uh, so again, studio office is being set up, or the office studio is being set up, that's where we're at now. We've got a ceiling fan, we've got some lights, we've got some other lights coming, uh, with Chris's kind of help he's helped me figure out which equipment we're gonna need yeah. and, and everything so we're gonna we're gonna start getting that going which I'm really excited about. So we'll have a face uh, or a YouTube channel or a, we'll do something. I don't know if it's gonna be YouTube or we'll figure something out. YouTube pretty much everybody has but I'll put some stuff out there on that as well. So just as a, 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 a heads up, you know, just want to make sure that we start sharing that and and getting people over to there, so cool. Again, you're up, Castro. Hold on, hold on. I'm responding to your nephew. Hold on. What he said, said love you. I said back at you. You can sell, tell him. Back at you. <laughs> so, uh, you haven't done this before? No, no, it's my first time. First time, first timer. I'm a virgin. Stop it. <laughs> um, so are we on number three? Is that where we're at? Yes. I blame you for getting the alcohol, so um, so. Uh, something I'm trying to do every time is talk a little bit about a book I'm reading. I think I've shared with you guys that in the last four weeks I've read about 11 books. I'm fucking addicted to reading. I mean, it's all I do. It's ridiculous. Like, even Greg today was like, all you've done is sit there and read. I was like, bitch, I did laundry too, so go away. Uh, but I'm reading a book called The Mister, and it's by the same woman who did the Fifty Shades of Grey series. Um, it's a horrible name. I mean, really? The Mister? The Mister. We're calling this Beth's Book Club, by the way. The Mister. M-I-S-T-E-R. Um, but it's really a good book, and it's a great story, and I have not been able to put it down, and I started it yesterday, and I'm already halfway through it, which is pretty amazing for me, because I'm a horrible reader, but um, if you guys like, anybody who looks at this, if you liked the, the, the Fifty Shades of Grey series, it's the same author, and it's another great story. So. It's awesome. So, what's the background? I mean, um, is it another so one of the ones uh, where they whip the shit out of each other? No, nope, this they, one is about a young lady. I came in is... earlier today. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they were talking about what butt plugs. I think so, I mentioned this before. I think you guys Maybe. know that every weekend I am watching all three Fifty Shades of Grey until it's no longer a stay home, stay safe suggestion no at this place stigma. at this time. Um, and so I watched the first one and a half today, and hey, Molly. Um, she oh, did. Sorry. She was like, "What's a butt plug?" And Greg lost it in the background. <laughs> he was making a sandwich, and he was like, "Seriously?" I was like, "Dude, you've seen all the times that I've watched them. I laugh that you still get surprised because you have basically seen them all now." I can't put them all together, though, which is probably fine. I'm okay. With and that. then I'm like googling, like, "What is this? <laughs> what is this?" I'm like, "Oh, don't it's look at that again." Thing but ever. um. Anyway, it's kind of funny. So, yeah. But yes, yeah, so the mystery. It's a really good book. Um, it's by the same woman. I don't know if it's going to be another series. I'm only halfway through it. Yeah. Um, but you wanted to know what the premise was. It's a young lady who is um, escaping a pro like a prearranged marriage mm -hmm. in Albania, and she escapes thinking she's going to go to England to and be, be a citizen. Right? But really, what they're doing is it's they're like basically um, didn't realize that they were going to try to uh, sell them off to the highest bidder. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, so it's kind of like... Oh, it's like a sex slavery kind, kind of thing? Of. But she gets away, and so it's kind of like her whole story on how she gets away. Oh, and shit, that's a completely build. different thing. Um, no, because they're still loving it, and there's still great sex scenes in it. So, I mean, it's... But it's there's a storyline to it that's a little bit different than somebody who's into S&M. It's a good story. You would like it. No, you wouldn't like Wait. it. But you would like it. What? No. Quit? I'm, Is that what you're saying? No, Quit? I didn't say what? <laughs> But it's no, a good story. I don't really, I don't no, I'm really a, I'm a, in. now all of a sudden, so I've moved, did it. I've moved beyond Hallmark to now just love stories. Shit. No, it's not, those aren't, that's not a love it's story. It's erotic romance is what they call it, but it's still oh, a lot of romance. She's there is start, a 
Dude, Marty's wife writes about this shit. I should probably check out one of her books. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, Renee. Renee. Oh, Renee I Dyer. Reach out to Renee and yeah, like, tag her ass on the like, stuff. Be like, Renee, what's your... Because she's written like two or three. She's written a she? bunch of them, I think. I don't yeah. know. I am not into that shit, but I know she's an author and she they have whole groups and shit of that Yeah, stuff. I'm not a book club girl, but you recommended this is best maybe book trying club right to now. like recommend readings and um Sorry, I've got so if you guys need something to do um i mean again we're home for another three months jesus christ there's only so much tv you can watch and hollywood's just they're not making moves they and make- we thought about that like we talked about it last week i was like i wonder what this is going to do for television series they're fucked because this is the time of year that they start to record their shit i think i i just saw something that um i don't remember who it which director it was. It's probably not there. It's one of the big ones. They're going to do... I mean, do you think they're going back to work? Because are they essential services? No, I mean, if first... a makeup store is essential service, wouldn't TV be because they're an essential service? No. I I don't know. It's that. Hollywood, dude. California shut the fuck down. It's in California. Unless they do it in Utah, Montana, like one of the states. I mean... I know Georgia's like a really big studio kind of place. Like And Georgia's back open. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It'll be interesting because we watch a lot of like stuff on um, Discovery or Travel Channel Mm -hmm. um, that requires them to travel. So like Josh Gates' show. He's overseas or something like that. Expedition Unknown or those shows like that. Like Or the um, Ghost Adventures that requires them to channel. I wonder how that's going to impact their An action book. So... Who said that? So... If you want to read, I, I started oh, reading yeah. a book by Jack Carr. Give me two seconds and I'll tell Shana, you. Shauna, you don't want to love. Um, but it is, <laughs> god damn phone. Um, Jack Carr is a, was a, I talked about this when we were out at, um, okay. in South Padre real quick. Because I just got the, the books. But I think it's called The Terminalist is the it's, first it's, one. Yeah, it is. You can keep it on there. It's the Terminal List is the first one. Terminal List, Savage Son, and True Believer. Oh, no. Three books sorry. right now. It's Terminal List, True Believer, and Savage Son. And, and you, you can buy them right book. now at three books. And I got it for series. like 30 bucks. And it's about like... Yeah, the Terminal List by Jack Carr. So the first four chapters, I, I'm not going to give anything away. because I'm You're only on the fourth it. chapter? I haven't read anything since we got back. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't read all day. I do yard work like a normal day. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just call you BS right now. You do yard work on Saturday and Sunday. And then I work the other days. So do I. Barely. She takes breaks to read. No, I read at my lunchtime. But nonetheless, check those out. I think I really if you want like an action kind of thing, it's really even the first four chapters I was like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, good. Yeah, they were like good. why? Like is it just It's just like the build up the story, he doesn't spend a lot of time kind of like Getting into the super nuances, but he talks enough about it. Well, I have it on my like iPad too. Very so specifically it. about like you know the type of gear he's wearing, the type of the reasons he's doing certain things, and like within four chapters he snipes something. Like and it's because he's basically is. Sean, do you like when you say action? Are you talking like military action, or do you want um like the whole Maze Runner action type thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's called the Terminal What's it called List. Again? Yeah, the Terminal Jack List. Carr, J A C K C A R R. He was a former Navy SEAL. Like I said, he spent like ten or twelve years in the Navy Se- as a Navy SEAL or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and he was he might even spend longer. I don't recall, but he was pretty high up. Yeah, he might have been a chief or something like that. But cool. Yeah, so check that out. But yeah, so that's Beth's book corner, book club, book club. Um, plans for tomorrow. So. Okay, so let me start by explaining this. So, Uh-oh. Sunday fun days. Are usually trouble. When we first started having to shelter in place, is that what, what you call it now? Or quarantine, or stay home, stay orders. safe, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, we did a few back-to-back Sunday fun days, and it killed us on Mondays. I mean, just... Absolutely. That's what we were actually doing this on Sunday nights. We were, and we stopped doing yeah, it on Sundays and moved it to Saturdays because... Yeah. Drinking that much on a Sunday, the beginning of the week was like, should have been a Thursday, but <laughs> the way we felt. And I was like, I can't, I can't yeah, do it. So we, we cut that I shit I can't do it. Right. Um, but now it's summertime, and summertime was the part of the year that we actually did Sunday fun days, so we would get all of our stuff out of the way, and then we would put like three or four beverages each in a cooler and go down to the pool, and 
spent a couple hours at the pool, and then usually end up coming home and drinking the rest of the 12-pack that we bought. Right. But um, um, now knowing that we're going to be working from home until the end of August, I'm like, I think I'm going to need fucking Sundays. It's okay. Sunday. So they've opened our pool up. A quick little side to that. They opened the pool up, and people are like, Please open the pool, and I'm basically oh, like, like, no. Get off your box. Get off your box. It's open. Oh, uh, it's let open. It go. But let it's it still go. like very let limited. Go. Very limited. Well, they want you to be there two only two hours. hours. They want plenty of space. There was never a lot of people at the pool to begin with. So like it's open fun. this weekend. And yeah, uh, but I think we're gonna have to have some Sunday fun days. Like I'm already prepped for tomorrow Sunday fun day. What do you have? Well, nothing mm-hmm. in my fridge yet, but I prepped? am prepped. Oh, my bathing suits are washed. They're clean. Did you do my laundry? Just kidding. She did my laundry. Though. I did our laundry, and yours just happened to be in there, bitch. I was about to say it. it was but um, you know why I do the laundry? Because I Greg shrunk everything. Because tried to do it when we first started living together, and he shrunk everything <laughs> that I had. I'm not even kidding. The man just threw everything in one bundle and washed it in hot and threw it on the dryer, and I was like, don't touch it ever again. Dude. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't do it. So she has like the most expensive washer and dryer ever now because that's her thing. And that's fine. She gets to read and do laundry. And fold. And fold. And do laundry. And read and fold. And then and do stack it all on top of my. It's literally like 12 feet tall. On what top did they say? It's 12 feet tall because you never put your shit away. Yeah. It'll go away eventually. Eventually. I'll wear it Maybe. off the top. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So I hope so you guys Sunday are doing good. Days, I think they're going to have to make a triumph come back. I still think we're going to keep this on Saturdays. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep um, this on Saturdays. But I'm ready, Saturday to go, I'm ready to go blow up my float. And... Do we have one? I think so. I think they're in the trailer. Why do you leave everything in the trailer? I guess we'll have to buy some. Yeah. So. We can go. We're getting one of those big ass unicorn ones. And fuck with I don't need that at the pool. I need that for the lake. The pool, it's too big for the pool. Like, I want to shoot those people that bring those big ass unitard. We got watching now. Mario's on. Chris, Mario. what's up, dude? And hey, Tommy. So, Shana, what'd you say, people. by the way, David? Yes. David Lanch's books. Book is books are amazing. Nice. Oh, yes, Nick's nice. on. What's up, Nick? How you doing, man? Nick's one of our front line guys. So he's best nephew and my nephew, too. Um, he works on... So just give him all cheers, a thumbs up, whatever. He, um, You're not thinking about Danny. Nope. Nick. Okay. He, um, he works on medical equipment Amanda's at hospitals watching. as well. So he... He really takes care of the active, like the actual equipment. Frontline. We medical. need yeah. when we go into the hospital. If something goes down. He is one of the technicians that goes and, just, and repairs it. So he's right there in the hospital. So he's that's good. Yep. Yeah. All right. So follow up home invasion. Hey, you you apparently talked to my dad. Oh. Oh, yeah. miss you too, Mario. Can't wait to catch up soon. Hopefully sooner than later. So yeah. So so remember, I don't know if you guys recall last week I mentioned, uh, or not last week, yes. Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday. I guess it was just this week. Yeah. So, past few days flown by. <laughs> but we had a little home invasion it's thing May. that happened like right down the road, right? And um, so, basically, quick syna- synopsis of that, like, evidently, somebody broke, like... They broke in twice. Broke in twice, same point. night. Gunpoint or weapons. I don't know if there was guns, but I imagine. I, I'm going to break somebody's house and I have a gun. Well, not everybody's that smart, but yes. But anyway, I'm going to kick somebody's door open. So they were looking for for uh, money, guns, and jewelry. jewelry. Yes. Specifically. So I talked to my father-in-law just tonight, who is a, what, 50-year yeah, law enforcement, enforcement retired DEA, DEA, has gone through from like being a police officer through customs all the way all up. All the way yeah. through being a special agent in the DEA, and he goes, no. Nah. I told you it was drugs. He goes, no. They were looking for drugs. Yep. Either either the guy owes him money for drugs. Yes. And they're want. I think money. I lived with my dad way too long because I'm like, yeah, nothing or to do with that they're shit. looking for drugs. Yeah. And this is a rental property. Did so we figure a, it out? It's finally yeah. a rental property. So uh, I, I don't want to say that's absolutely what it was. Yeah, it's highly likely. But for two times a night. Suspect. Well, here's the crazy thing. So now we have begun to notice an cops influx have been driving. of cop cars just... Driving, which is fine. I mean, yeah, it's not like it. anybody. I mean, I prefer I wait police not to have time. to come down my street all okay. the time. We have a couple um, cops live in the neighborhood. I believe so. they live right across. They always need their cross street outside their yard right now. But um, but we have a lot more presence of there's a lot Lotus more police. police yeah, a lot more Lotus police. It's kind of interesting. Through. But uh, he's like, now 
absolutely. Which, something. from the standpoint of where we were la- uh, Thursday night, it's kind of nice. There were that many cops, but because probably kept a lot of people out of the neighborhood that didn't need to be on the streets to begin mm-hmm. with. So, yeah. Absolutely. Um, so just kind of, that was a fun follow-up. So. Yeah, so it's kind of, I told you, I knew it had nothing to do with guns, jewelry, or cash. <laughs> I was like, BS, that's drugs. That's right. not drug Drugs. Drugs. It's drugs. That's We've got a dog happy. outside. He's not happy. They, He's locked out. He's like, bitches. It's kind of funny. Let me in. We'll let him in real quick when we, when we, no, we won't. Just real um, Well, probably no. won't, because we've got cables and um, shit. So, you already talked about that. Yep. So, no, that's kind of a, just the last oh. thing we'll, we'll recap on. Wait, I thought that's what that was for. I know, it's a recap. So, um, feel goods for the week. So, tomorrow we're going to go over and hang out with the brother. Which I haven't done in forever. I'm going to go see my brother and sister-in-law, my niece, her husband, and yeah, the kids. We haven't seen them in um, Just go months. hang out, yeah. We haven't it's seen them while. before we left for Colorado in March. So yeah. It'll um, be nice. I really do hope you guys can spend some time some with family. some family. I know it's for us, It's been that's been three, almost three months yeah. now since we've actually... Me too. March to April, April to May. Well, it's two. coming up on June, so two. two and a half months, something like that. Two months. Anyways, so it's been two plus months. Um, but so. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it is. The girl maybe who now is paying attention to time because she didn't remember what month we lived in exactly. is paying attention to time. trying to tell me what no, that's the reason day why. it is. Um, but anyway, it's going to be nice. Yeah, we're gonna get to, and then my dad's coming back over for dinner again tomorrow night. We're going to do a smoke. Uh, so we're gonna do a pork butt, an eight pound pork butt that was smoking in my belly tomorrow morning. Um, and I'll make some potato, that potato casserole. Right. We'll just hang out. Kathy. You and I will probably do a pool day for a little while. I'm going to wear 75 because I'm getting PSA. way too dark. P- what is it? PSF? I don't know. SP- SPF. 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 <laughs> SPF. Yeah, Mom, I don't 70, know. I just know 000. 75 because I'm getting way too dark. I've already peeled off my entire. I haven't. That's the thing. I know I will eventually, but even you were like, shoulders are getting <laughs> Really dark. Yeah, that was, was like, awesome. Yeah. So I don't, I don't like to be. We that got time. so extra cops is turned for anything else. Absolutely, that's really <laughs> what it comes down to. And then Mario said, "You two are fun. Thanks, oh, thanks, Mario. Thanks. We would love to do that. Yeah, like that'd you. be awesome. Yeah. So get up there sometime soon. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, so we get to hang out with family. Um, what's your weird fact of the day, baby? No, I've got another one real oh, quick. So shit. so I posted a video to there my Facebook. Was. I didn't see it. I, your dad told me about it this evening. I hadn't had a chance. And um, so it's kind of a, a feel good, but um, so go out and check it out on my Facebook. But um, there's a therapy horse, evidently. It's literally a, like a stallion, like a big ass horse. Uh-huh. That a dude will walk through a hospital, and it's, it's generally like, I don't know what. So the first thing that comes out, I'm like, what happens if you a poop? Hospice, but I guess they have those bags. Yeah, that they don't like a hospice anymore. situation okay. where par- people are like end of life. Yeah. And there was a, there's, they talk about it, and it's really it was just, again, it was kind of like, Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, right? And, uh, but the the horse, they walk it down the hall, and it knows, kind of, six cents, where to go, which room to go in. Aww. So there's, you can see the video, it's oh, really, it's really, really, really touching. And then they'll, like, walk in, and there's a gentleman that is, like, he's, he seemed pretty young, like, I don't know, maybe 30s or 40s or something like that. And it was kind of one of those situations where he, he was having a, he couldn't communicate real well. But he kind of looked okay. Right. But maybe a cancer like, or something. Yeah, like, like brain, brain cancer something. or brain injury. Or something. But he connected with the horse. Oh, like, so you were maybe crying out. And, and then another situation was he walked into an um, older, like a, probably an elderly woman um, who hadn't smiled in like a year. And she <laughs> smiled, mind, right? But it was just like an amazing, touching kind of thing. So go check it out. It was just one of those things. I mean, can you imagine if I watched that? I watched that stupid pedigree commercial was... where the dog goes into that little girl's op- uh, room. And right. I'm like, oh, what if I find out that I'm a therapy dog? The video was posted, like I think it was uploaded like a year ago when uh, we just got it. But I had never seen it. It was pretty amazing. Get you in the fields. Go check it out. Cool. It was just kind of a, again, it was just a. That's a good. Thing. I mean, I love shit like that. But it always know. makes me cry. You right. laugh at me because stuff I makes know. me cry. Yeah, like, she sees a dude crying, she cries. Oh, forget it. Doesn't I matter. see a man crying. Like a commercial of a guy crying. I don't even. Really, like, I can't, I can't do it. Toilet paper. I can't. I can't do it. A dude cries and I'm done. I don't know why, but a man crying is like just so emotional for me. I don't know. I don't know so I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Fun fact. Uh, it's not a weird fact. Weird right? fact? No, it's not a weird fun fact. fact. It's just fun a good. Fact. It's a great fact, actually. Yeah. 
is this one this I'm gonna start doing these on a on a we are showy basis or we are sorry we are. Um, today in 1900 a U.S. Civil War hero Sergeant William H. Carney became the first African American to receive the Medal of Honor for his actions 37 years prior during the Battle of Fort Wagner. So you think about that, that's pretty. It's a pretty amazing fact that happens this weekend or happens today. And I thought about that. And, and it's perfect like, that it goes with this weekend. I think, I mean, you it's know? just one of the cooler things. I, but it t- the, the unfortunate thing, it took 37 years, but I think that still kind of happens. Even right. today, it still takes a long time right. for people to be recognized as the true heroes that right. they are. They right, they get the recognition. It's an amazing are, thing. Yeah. And if you, I looked real quickly, kind of a little bit of backstory on it. Prior to that, he was a slave. And had gone into the military, and it was, it's just a, if you want inspiration, that's a pretty inspirational story. So, go check him out, read about it. Right, yeah, tell her so we said hi, we missed her too. Sergeant William H. Carney. Oh, so, yeah. check him out. Cool. So, with that, uh, one more, a couple more oh, yes. things. Just real quick, this is not, this is not a flamethrower, Angel, oh. if you happen to see this. <laughs> I want one of those frigging things. I already said no. She said no, so. Burn my fucking house down. Like, Cousin bought a flamethrower, and it's Elon Musk's flamethrower. And you have to explain why I can't have one. This is not a flamethrower. Oh, because I think basically he couldn't sell them as a flamethrower, so he renamed it. This, this is, is not, not a flamethrower, flame and he was able to it's sell it. But there's some pictures of my cousins. But yeah, she's uh, she's a, she's burning a torch, literally. Literally, it's it's a yeah. nice torch. And Greg wants one, and it's negative. He's standing negative. in the back. My cousin owns a Humvee, and uh, like an old. Beat up. It's, I don't know if it's beat up, but it works. It runs and everything else. He drives around. I've only seen it once. And uh, standing in the back, being like, Pleh. oh, I just saw the one with Angel by the pool. Yeah, That's yeah. The one I saw. Kathy, I'm sure you've seen the video. Yeah, the, no, the, Greg doesn't get to have one. Yeah. So lastly, um, this last topic, Murphy challenges. Murph challenges this is weekend Monday. or Monday. If you're gonna do the Murph challenge, remember, kick its ass. It's for time. 300 squats, 200 push-ups, 100 pull-ups, and then. Two, two one miles. mile runs. So you if you want to run at the end, run at the end. Let me know how you guys do. I'm gonna do it on Monday, and it's probably gonna beat the living shit out of me because I haven't done it in a while. This year. But it's for time. We'll post times on Facebook. Do whatever. You know, I'll definitely do it. And I'm not gonna be wearing. I'm not gonna be wearing a weighted vest or any Greg. bullshit like the badasses do. There's none of that. It's just. There's a girl that runs in our neighborhood. One of those. I'm like, it's I'm just, scared that's the of cop you. right over here. I'm yep. scared of you. Yep, that's what we need. So okay, we'll with stop. that, thanks guys. Um, Ian, come get a beer. Bar's open, dude. Cheers, Evan. Cheers, Evan. Thanks to the first responders. Thanks to our frontline folks. Thanks to you, military. Thanks to you guys for following us and watching us. We yeah, love absolutely. you guys and we miss you all. So cheers, cheers. guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.